All right, welcome to Broadfield Liquid Lunch. Jim, your usual host, Jim Bass, is not here. I'm Gary Batan, the president of Broadfield Distributing. And today we're going to have Sergi from uh, Secure Data on the show to talk about secure data drives. We think it's a real opportunity for our dealers to get into an area that is, we know you're familiar with storage and you've sold storage before, but this is secure storage on a, a really high level of encryption and security that we believe is really something, you know, worth looking into. We've been asked about it by a lot of our dealers and they're by their customers. And we think it's a great opportunity for everyone. Jim said, I got to start the show every show with, with, with a, a liquid lunch taste. So today's taste is called Deep Ellum IPA. It was sent to us by Glenn in Texas, said we this is the one we should go with. So I'm going to give it an open, give it a taste and see how it does. Tasty, nice little tropical citrus back to it. Like it a lot. Good choice, Glenn. Deep Ellum IPA, which I guess is from Texas in the Deep Ellum area next to Dallas. So awesome job, awesome beer. Sergi, how you doing? We, we are doing this uh, simulcasting. So we're going live to LinkedIn on the presentation on the show. But we also invited in some dealers who are in a Zoom room. And we're, after the show is over, they're actually going to have a little Zoom breakout to be able to pick Ken Higgins from, C uh, from Secure Data and Sergey's brain a little bit to find out a little bit more. So Secure Data is about Secure Drive. So I want to start the show with, uh, with the burning question that I think a lot of people have, which is, you know, if you're in the legal, if you're in medical, if you're in government, if you're in, you know, uh, privacy for education, we understand why people need encrypted drives. But, you know, why do you need secure drives in the media and entertainment space? It's a wonderful question. Most of the time, that's not really looked at as a burning subject, but security really is, is paramount anywhere you go. So the main answers to that would be the off-site encrypted backup protection against ransomware and data loss, as well as reducing the impact of pre-release movie piracy and also ultimately the, the bottom line for movie studios and production companies. So with, with our background, in data recovery, we know that data loss affects most organizations in some way at some time. So secure drives are a perfect supplement to recommend a three to one backup strategy, which yep. is you know three copies of your production data, two backup copies, and two different media formats, disk and cloud, with one, at least one offsite copy for disaster recovery. And having an offsite backup copy in an encrypted format is ideal way to make sure that if uh, it does go into the wrong hands or there is a, a ransomware infection, then your data remains safe and secure. And it also protects the data when transporting footage from capture to editing to production. And that also prevents unauthorized access by third parties who may not be uh, working directly in the production or post-production, maybe just a courier. And as an administrator, you can control where, when, and by whom the content can be viewed remotely with our managed solution. Well, well, let's talk about that because the next question is: is how to secure data, do it better? And you kind of, you kind of tipped your hat a little bit. The one way you really are better is you give like an IT level, con enterprise level control for the encryption. So it's not just a matter of I know a password by heart, and if I forget it, I'm done, and I'm the only person who knows it. So uh, you're, you're the expert on it, but you tipped your hat a little bit. Why are you guys the best form of securely encrypted hard drives? So as, as an organization, we focused on the toughest data security technologically available while maintaining that ease of use for the, for the user because the last thing that uh, security should get in the way of is the ineffective workflow and the efficiency of production, specifically in the media entertainment space. We bring the highest level of FIPS 142 level three security standards with that plug and play functionality. So it's gonna eliminate the loss of productivity. So if you can use a mobile app, or you can use a padlock, you'll be able to digitally protect uh, the assets via military grade security. And unlike any solution that are currently out there, ours are OS independent, meaning they'll work on any and with any device that has a USB port, eliminating friction and system compatibility. So, and in addition, so, so you dropped sure. an, 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 an acronym on us, FIPS. What does that mean? What is FIPS? So FIPS is a standard, uh, that's assigned to security. It's assigned by NIST, which is the National Institute of Standards and Testing. It assigns different grades of uh, 
security, different levels, and how the data is protected without going into too much of the, of the details of the security uh, process. Essentially, that's a rubber stamp which the federal government applies to certain security products to validate that it's truly secure. And there's several different attack vectors that you must pass in order to be compliant, as well as having several attributes that you have to meet to be compliant. So like you're at military grade or spy grade level encryption is what we're talking about here, right? It's the James Bond gadget that he'd probably choose if he was using one, absolutely. Awesome, so you said it was easy. We said it was James Bond. I think the best way to get that point across isn't a slideshow. It's to show the dealers just how this really works, how easy it is, and why when you see it in action, it really becomes a, a, an easy sale. So we're gonna set it up. It might take a few seconds. Oliver will let me know when you're ready to go, but you're gonna share your screen. You're gonna actually walk through a demo so you guys can really see. It's great to throw around the words, but let's see how this thing really works. So take it away. Absolutely. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And what I'll do is I'll show awesome. you two versions. So what you're seeing right now is our remote managed console. And on the right side, you'll have a mirror image of my mobile device. So the way that we authenticate to this technology is using a mobile app. And that's what I want to focus on today. So the way it works is the device itself works and looks and feels and acts just like any other USB drive or uh, external drive. Once plugged in, however, it will ask you to authenticate. So that is when the security comes into play. The user needs to have the password or they can remember password. We also piggyback off of biometric security, so you can use touch ID or face ID to authenticate, and that's where that usability really comes into play. In order to authenticate, there's an app that comes free from the App Store, and it's uh, compatible with Android and iPhones. Essentially, it's a way to communicate your password across, so no data is actually being copied through the Bluetooth, and the device works through the USB, so transfer speeds are very high and it's as efficient as you can get with a hardware encrypted device of this magnitude. Once the device is connected, the password entry is very intuitive. So unlike any solutions where you have to put in, for instance, a key through software on your computer, or you have to put in the, the pin right on the pin pad, you're using your mobile device. And just for demonstration, I'm showing you the usability via first time experience. You put in your passcode and the device opens. If you put in your passcode incorrectly 10 times, or if somebody doesn't know your passcode, the data will automatically be wiped, locking down the device. So you can use the device again, but the data is gone. So you can absolutely protect your important data. And as you can see, as soon as you connect, it looks and feels and acts just like any other USB device. Users don't need to know anything except for the password to connect to it. In addition, however, what you have is this visual interface now that you can use to control the device itself. You can change the password. You can enable two-factor authentication. So not only is somebody gonna have to know your password, they're also gonna have to have your mobile phone in order to receive a six-digit SMS code without which they won't be granted access to the data. A key feature, and a lot of this is in the news, is some of these encrypted devices that don't have any password retrieval functionality lock important data forever. So if there is any uh, digital asset, which is in storage and the password is forgotten, as an organization, we have no back doors. We're not able to retrieve the password for the user, but essentially, if the user enables uh, password retrieval, they can then recover their own password, which is a very useful and unique feature to just our product line. In addition, remember passwords. So going back to not interrupting that workflow, the assumption is that your mobile device is protected with your face ID or touch ID or uh, a pattern. So it's already secure. So if you enable the remember me, uh, remember password functionality, Essentially, you're able to uh, right away by opening up the app, enable your device. So again, very fast, very convenient use of access. In addition to that, we have uh, enabled uh, some security features such as inactivity auto lock and step away auto lock. So if you're working on something or the you know you're doing post production work on something and somebody calls you away from your desk, if your mobile device travels with you, the device will automatically lock, barring anybody from coming in and copying your important and sensitive files away. Same thing for inactivity auto lock. If somebody is working on something and let's say they're viewing uh, the data and then they stop and they think or they go get a cup of coffee, if there's no data being written and you can set any time that you like from a minute to an hour, the device will auto lock, keeping your data safe and secure. In addition, 
key useful functionality only available to our secure drive VT line, which is again, FIPS validated, is the remote wipe functionality. If, you're at, if your device goes, uh, gets lost or stolen in a non-managed state, so there's no subscription fees for this particular service, you're able to remotely wipe the data. So if somebody finds it on the street and you enable the remote wipe command, or if somebody that's not authorized steals it or takes it and they're trying to plug it in, essentially you can enable the remote wipe functionality not allowing the user to even attempt to 10 times to try to guess the password, first thing it's gonna do is wipe the data. So that is a very unique functionality available only to our BT line. And it's gonna make sure that your product is, uh, your, your data, your digital assets are safe and secure. And that is available as a standalone solution in our, um, in, in our, in our non-managed line. So this is a non-administrative, so if the users somewhere where there is no internet or they just don't want to be managed. If they're a small production studio, perhaps maybe they only have a few users, that is a great solution. But what I want to show you now is the main subject in, the, in our demonstration today, which is the remote management portal. The remote management portal is a great way to control who, where, and when has access to your files. So post-production, pre-production, on location. As an administrator, you can control with GPS-based precision where the only ones to do that to control where and when the device can be opened and thus the content can be viewed. So the devices look just the same. So I'll be using a secure USB to demonstrate its, its uh, functionality. The only difference is, is what you'll see is uh, a different app because it is managed. The administrator will distribute a different app. The app is called Manage because it's there to manage uh, the uh, functionality. As a user, there is no difference. And on the left side of the screen, you'll see the remote management portal. So the left side of the screen is the IT administrator. The right side of the screen is the user. So as the user, I've already enabled remember password because I don't want to remember password. I already know that it's already there. So essentially, once the device comes online, it's going to initially it's a secure way to communicate. And by me just tapping the app, it's going to let me in. So it's not going to ask me for any passwords. Very fast to connect. And now all that in the background, all that military grade protection that was enabled to make sure I am who I am and this device is allowed to be used. And then on the back end, which you also see is a way for you as an administrator to control these devices. And as an example, this is again, on the left side, I'm the uh, administrator, on the right side, I'm the user. I can revoke access at any point without harming the data. I can geofence this user to a certain location, GPS based, because again, I have ability to my mobile phone. So the cell signal is very precise. It's gonna tell me exactly where and when I am and wh where I am and when I can open the device, as well as locking it to a certain time. So if I'm not supposed to use it after five o'clock, you can also limit access to the users by that. So as an example, let's say there's a post-production studio that's somewhere in Hollywood. And I'm gonna limit or geofence myself to a five mile radius from, uh, let's say, I don't know, wherever the downtown Los Angeles is, all you do is you set the parameters. And what happens is now you're able to see that there's a, a net, a net that's kind of controlling exactly where the device can be accessed. So as you saw, when I plug in the device, I do have remember plus, uh, functionality, remember password functionality already enabled. So if I'm a courier and I'm not supposed to open this device anywhere except for on location or off location, whatever the administrator decides, I go to plug in the device. And as you can see, the remember password functionality is still available, but now it's out, out of bounds. And it's because out of bounds, even though I am authorized, I'm supposed to have it, it's not gonna let me in. It's also not gonna tell me why it's not gonna let me in. It's just gonna say, sorry, there's a problem, contact the administrator. And when the administrator is able to take a look, they can see, well, you know, Sergey's a courier. He's taking this latest, uh, you know, X-Men movie or, or Star Wars or something like that. They're, you're, you're taking that, uh, where, where, you know, where is he? Where is he located? And the administrator has access to the access log. And the log is very precise. So I'm supposed to be in Los Angeles. And if they take a look exactly where I am, it's all tied into Google's API then the administrator can see that, you know, Sergey took this to Cleveland and he actually sees exactly where he took it to. So that's gonna raise a lot of red flags, a lot of questions. Also, it's going to maintain a strict chain of uh, custody and strict audit of where this device was, where the media was open. And the administrator can use this to really maintain control of the footage that's being sent out, 
where it can be sent. So they can feel very secure shipping this to a different country, shipping it out of state, shipping it anywhere, and maintaining full control, knowing who was the last person to access, because they have to have a password. Th that geofencing is, is such a cool feature. I just love that. I think that's something that, is there any other product that's a hard drive that does that in the world? Not in a FIPS validated format. So there's a lot of solutions out there, which are, and cost is not a big factor when we deal and we present this solution to customers that are security minded and security is paramount. You know, latest releases uh, that we found in, in case studies show as much as 20% of revenue from film studios is lost due to piracy and pre uh, kind of the pre-release movie piracy and piracy in general. So if this data can be, so, you know, if, if let's say United Airlines or Delta or, or Netflix or Sony, if those organizations share those, uh, those movies with anybody, the chances of them using uh, unencrypted device significantly increases the odds of somebody stealing it and putting it on the internet versus if it, this is being shipped in this format, they can control who, where, and when had access to that particular file. And they can also make them liable if it never does leak. So from a cost perspective, the, you know, it's, it starts at about $80 for a drive and they go up, of course, you know, we have a 16 terabyte solution coming out in the 2.5 inch form factor, which is totally uh, USB powered. So no cables, no wires, just a USB cable to power it on. Those do range in the several thousand, but it all depends on how much value they're getting because at a 16 terabytes, that could be several hours worth of footage that's captured. And on a big budget project, it's a reusable asset, which can be used over and over again with this functionality, which can again, show them exactly who had it and lock down where it can be accessed. So from a cost perspective, it's really not a big investment and something that can protect a, a, a lot, a, a lot as far as a kind of revenue loss and, and pain. So that's, that's what we have available. And in addition, of course, everything is audited and everything is monitored and as secure data, the organization, we have no access to the data. So the control is the only thing we physically hand to the administrator. The data itself remains on the device itself and it's completely self-reliant. So you don't need anything except for an app. Any app, as long as you have the password, will unlock it. So this is essentially a 30,000 foot quick demo into what the solution is, what we offer and how we make it simple to really protect the digital assets today. Well, thank you very much. What I have on the screen now, you can stop sharing and we'll, we'll talk a little bit. What I have on the screen now is the whole sure. product lineup so people can see, as Serge said, you know, we've got the basic USB starting at 80 bucks. And right now we have four terabyte and eight terabytes up to uh, uh, four terabytes for 1709 for SSDs and the secure KP SSD eight terabyte for 32.99. So it's a, it's a great little run of different products on there. Let's bring Serge back. Let's talk a little bit about the difference between the KP and the uh, non-KP product, uh, the BT and the KT, KP product. Certainly. So what we have is a way for you to keep attackers out and also to manage. The difference between the two is just that. The KP line is self-reliant. The entry of the pin on the device itself will gain access. Unfortunately, if somebody walks off with it and they are an authorized user at the time and they do have the password, there's no way to revoke access. And the BT line, in addition to being highly convenient, as well as providing access to password recovery functionality, as well as two-factor authentication and biometrics, if the person chooses to use face ID or touch ID recognition, it also allows the administrator to deploy these in a managed state. So they can control the BT line where and when the device can be opened and viewed. They can also revoke access. They can also temporarily put it on hold and not let anybody log in until the device is secure and safe and in the possession of the administrator or just where the device is known. So that's those are the major differentiators between the two is control. So for for or our dealers who are selling to a production company or a studio or stuff like that, they should definitely be pitching the BT because you want to have that centralized control, correct? That is how we see it. We, we created a product for organizational customers specifically because they'll be able to control and manage where their digital assets are, also catalog them and, and log them so they can see where and when they were accessed, which provides an additional layer of security. Cool, and this is the, the you, you did a great demo of all that stuff with the geo-locking and how you can control it. I know 
One of the concerns that people have is that, let's say they just totally lose it. You can also remotely wipe the drive clean, correct? Absolutely. So this comes unique to us, unique to secure data, secure drive product line. Even if the organization chooses not to have the device remotely managed, the user can remotely wipe the drive at their, at their convenience. And then as an admin with the managed solution, the administrator can then wipe it taking away the control from the user itself. So the users, if they walk off the job site, cannot damage the data, only the administrator can do it. And they can lock it until the device is returned. They can also see the location that was last accessed. So they can then try to start the trace back to get the, get the device back in their hands. Cool, so I just want to review that we've got, you know, basically four flavors. We've got the thumb drives in two flavors. We've got the BT with the full security, the remote management or the or the version with the, or the KP, which is the keyboard. And then we've got the KP also in the bigger sizes or the BT drive. So very exciting stuff. I want to thank you for being on the show. I think our dealers learned a lot about the technology. Love the live demo. I think the geo fencing is just really amazing. I want to kick the floor to you for a second though, because a lot of people are buzzing about encryption and they're talking about it, but I don't want you to put down other people, but once again, explain why secure data is the best for encrypted hard drive, portable hard drive storage. So it's, thank you, Gary, my pleasure to be here. But uh, just, just to, to answer your question again, is we have an entire suite and entire solution. So part of our ecosystem, the hardware encrypted drives are a big part of it. But secondary are the built-in antivirus, which is in, uh, available and it's built in to work directly with USB devices, we use a ESET Note 32 engine to scan any data that's going to come in, which is going to keep ransomware out and all the malware out. That's included in our hardware encrypted products. In addition, we have a DLP solution, which allows in uh, together with the remote management to control the USB policy of the organization. So you can control and lock down your computers in the organization about having to use only encrypted drives or to use only encrypted BT drives or even uh, by serial number control with drives can be plugged in. So it's total control. And of course, above and beyond is the FIPS validation on the entire product line. We're currently the only one to have wirelessly authenticated hardware encrypted drives, which again is a, kind of the rubber stamp behind the security. That's uh, as much as we know about data recovery and encryption, we know there are no back doors. There is no way to get into this device and bypass the security. There's other vendors that do that but nobody does it wirelessly with total OS independence. So it will work on any USB powered device. A toaster, if, you, if, that's, if that's your preference to copy logs that out. Awesome, I like to say it's, it's military grade encryption that James Bond would use himself. I think he'd be proud to have it. Awesome, cool. Well, we're going to end the show today. Thank you for everyone coming to the Broadfield Liquid Lunch. Now, you're going to stick around because we're going to put you into the Zoom breakout room, and that's for the dealers who signed up for the program. So for everyone, we'll be back next week. It'll be back to Jim doing the show. I don't know what the schedule is. I'm the stand-in guy. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Thank you, Deep LM IPA. And guys, enjoy the breakout room. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching this week's Broadfield Liquid Lunch and Learn. We go live every week to our dealers on LinkedIn Live at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Coming up, we'll be talking with Paul Richards from PTZ Optics and on some exciting new products. We'll also be joined on an upcoming show by SanDisk Professional to take a look at some excellent storage solutions. Tune in on our LinkedIn page or at news.broadfield.com live. Broadfield Distributing is a value-added distributor of live production, streaming, video editing and storage products. We only sell to resellers. We are always looking for new dealers. So call us at 1-800-634-5178 or email sales at broadfield.com. You'll like doing business with Broadfield because we make it easy to do business.